Well, um, this is iStuff1, and today I'm actually going to be teaching you how to downgrade your iPod firmware, iPod Touch, or iPhone firmware from 1.1.5 to 1.1.4. Now, as you can see, this is 1.1.4 firmware. I'm just going to zoom in a little. Now, I'm going to give you the link to download the software from a website. And what you're going to do is you're going to download this with Firefox, please, as Firefox is the only thing that will work on a Mac. You, if not, you should use, if you have a PC, use obviously use Internet Explorer or Firefox. Do not use Safari. Safari does not compress it into a proper file format, and that's why you should use Firefox. Now, once you've gotten this firmware done, I suggest you save it to your desktop, as saving it to your desktop will be more convenient for you use. Now, once you, to downgrade, first plug in your iPod. Now, once you plug in your iPod, please go to the iPod screen right here. Now, as you can see, I have 2.2 .2 firmware right there. What um, I know this might sound kind of, I know it might be kind of frustrating it is to me when people say they're going to show you how to downgrade something, but, you know, then they don't actually show you, they just tell you how, but I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm going to have to do that for you guys. So what you're going to do is once you have your iPod plugged in, make sure it's on 1.1.5 firmware. That will be located right here under software version. Now, once you get it done, what you're going to do once you once you once you've made sure that you're on 1.1.5, uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your iPod the screen and what you're going to do is you're going to click alt or option on the mac restore now what you're going to do is you're going to find out where you save it now if you saved it to another file you could do that or most people like to save it to your desktop for convenience so i'm going to click on this you know, just make sure it's the proper firmware proper size now make sure it's around 165.4 megabytes this may vary depending on where you downloaded it from if it's anything much less or much greater, I would ins uninstall it as soon as possible because that could be a potential virus. Uh, not to scare you guys from downloading from the source that I have. If you're getting it from a source that you might find on the internet, I would be cautious. Now, the source that I'm going to give you is obviously very safe. I, I use this source for this. I use the source for this firmware, so it should work. Now, what will happen is once you click open, it will do all the restoring and whatnot. Now, what may happen is the actual firmware might not properly get installed onto your iPod. So if this does happen, this has happened to me before, and I know how to avoid this. You click exit out of iTunes, and when I mean exit, I mean quit out of iTunes, and then go into Safari, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. If you have both Safari and Firefox, to do this for Safari, you go to Safari, Make sure block pop-up windows is off. So what the setting that you see right now is what should be on your Safari and on Firefox. I'm not sure how to do this for Internet Explorer, but I'm pretty sure you'll be you if you do not know how to do it, I'm pretty sure you could look it up on the internet. Um if not, I'm you could put a comment on my uh blog obviously. And I will get back to you as soon as possible with that information. I don't know it right now, but I'm hoping that I'll get it for you when you need it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to quit out of iTunes. And you click, then once you quit out, you reopen iTunes. Make sure your iPod has been plugged in and your iTunes is open. Now, what may happen is this. When you can't, you won't be able to really exit iTunes in the middle of obviously a restore or an upgrade or downgrade in this case. So you're gonna have to unplug your iPod first. I should have told you that, sorry. So then you could just restart the restore. Obviously, I'll show you option restore and click the firmware. And again, make sure it's the proper firmware. Now, after you've downgraded from 1.1.4, I'm pretty sure you'd want to jailbreak it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to theiphone.org and download this ZIPhone OS X if you're using a Mac or ZIPhone for the PC. 
Now, once you get it, you just click jailbreak. It will, uh, it will automatically jailbreak it. It's a very fast and easy process. Okay, um, that is basically it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please, concern, please leave it on my. Please leave a comment. Um, and that's basically it. Thank you for watching.